Now, we thought we'd take a moment to talk about possibly the greatest Olympian of all time, the American swimmer Michael Phelps. Is he human or amphibian? More than 100 countries have won fewer gold medals than this man alone in the history of the Games. 21 gold so far. 16 years after becoming an Olympian and 10 years older than the age at which most swimmers peak, he took gold again last night for the 200 metres butterfly. Well, Duncan Good, you knows what it's like to feel, how to feel to win a gold. He triumphed in the 100 metres breaststroke in the Moscow Olympics in 1980. Good evening, have you been glued to the set? I have, and, and I only won one gold medal. And you look at what Phelps has done, it's quite extraordinary, isn't it? Do, do you think we're becoming kind of blasé about it? I mean, his achievements are almost superhuman. Well, I grew up with with Mark Spitz yes. and, and we thought how can anybody win more than nine gold medals seven in one games and uh, enter a Michael Phelps and uh, he, he seems to have broken through on on so many different levels uh, and if you just kind of play your mind back you, you've got one gold medal so you, you've got the heats the semi-finals and the finals and if you want to get two then you, they're going on in sequence so you're going back to back yeah. uh, so how do you keep emotionally up and and not tire of it when you're looking at him what do you think though about him uh, it's just extraordinary I, I mean i interviewed him for the uh, financial times when he was just breaking through when he was 17 years old and both him and his coach were convinced that one gold medal would satisfy him and one gold medal would satisfy most people most people yes <laughs> And um, for him, he just knew he was talented and it was reflected in everybody around him. And, and he both, had that enormous support. But what, yeah, do, but you think, do you think, I mean, physically, he's changed massively in that time. Yeah, I mean, it's been a real journey. He's, ch he's changed his shape. And uh, they, 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 some archaeologists have found that um, gladiators grew longer arms. I think with Phelps, he's grown more fish-like by the moment. But and he's extraordinary in the water. Extraordinary in the water. But the other thing is, you know, he doesn't, it's not exactly Mr. Super Healthy in terms of, you know, he lo loves hamburgers, he loves all the bad yeah. stuff. He used to take 10 thousand calories a day. Well you have to when you swim as much. Yeah. I mean uh, when you talk to other Olympic athletes they all accept that swimming is the most demanding of all sports and I think it's because you're lying down you mm. can actually rev the engine up and you can keep going longer. You know if you're running you, your, your body is, is, is pounded and has to get the blood mm. up through your legs. But he has I mean he's obviously calibrating what he's doing as he gets older but you know at 31 he's way beyond the age that most uh, athletes indeed most swimmers yeah. peak. So how does he change? What's the game plan? Well, for him, obviously, he was really upset at losing the 200 metres butterfly in, in London, and that really rankled with him. And he's now got, of course, a, a, a young child, and he's settled down a little bit. And he, he, his, his, from what I understand of his attitude, it, it had changed massively over the last couple of years. And, and you're seeing the results of that now. But also, what he's doing now, he's not going for 400, you know, he's going for... 100 meters and 200 meters so you know it's a, a quick a, well, a, a here i say it a quick blast without having to deal with the amount of stamina yeah. you need for long well I'm, I'm very much for the taps and back it doesn't <laughs> hurt so much but, but uh, yeah, i mean seriously I, I think what you've got to look at this phelps as a man um can, can anybody beat this well it's going to be tough but but they did beat Mark Spitz. Um, the relays make the difference mm -hmm. for, for him. As American, he's got nine gold medals on the relay. So unless it's another uh, very, very strong country, to win those kind of numbers, uh, again, will be difficult. But never say impossible, because another Michael Phelps will probably come along. Duncan Goodhue, thank you very much indeed.